So at this time, I would like to call Katie back out here to close us out. Where is she? There she is, <laughs> lunging into the audience. There's nowhere that he We're totally energetic this morning. You have that look of like, let's go party. Woo! We got so much done in a day, but you know, one of the things I'd like to do at this time, it's really important to me as a startup and as a member of the entrepreneur community and now obviously a member of the Houston community as a, a corporate citizen. I sit on the board of the Junior Achievement, and it's a fantastic organization. If you can't give your money, you can give your time, or both. Um, and I'd like to call up Jennifer Anderson from, here she is. She's been patiently waiting all day long. And I hope you had a chance to sit, come by their, their booth. And so, I'm so excited. I've never gone to do a big check presentation, so. It is a $2,500 check. We will totally increase that, right? Um, but we're really excited to, to be a part of uh, the Junior Achievement. I have to say, when I got the call to join the board, I was so stoked because I'm a product of Junior Achievement, and I know a lot of people in the room are. And it's such a great way to, to, to prepare uh, leaders, uh, our next generation of global leaders. So thank you so much for what you do, and we hope to add some zeros to that. So like if we could add like two zeros to that, that would be pretty awesome, don't you think? That would be really awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. All right, and so we're gonna thank, obviously, I really, really wanna thank uh, Rice um, Business. This is an, isn't this an amazing facility to, to be at? Um, I'm not somebody that likes to hold events at hotels, so when you got the note about rubber chicken meals and, you know, uh, hotels, that's just not my thing. So I love that we could come here and uh, occupy the, the Shell Auditorium. So speaking of Shell, Shell, thank you so much for all you do for Pink Petro and Women in Energy. Um, and, and KPMG, and, and really excited, uh, KPMG has a great conference coming up. We'll talk about that in a minute, but... Uh, I hope you guys had a chance to stop by KPMG's booth. They are hiring, so for those who are in transition looking, um, definitely check out the career site and uh, make, your, uh, make your applications. Um, and I, I should definitely, uh, again, thank all of our main stage sponsors. So uh, S&B, uh, Fueling Us Forward, General Electric, or GE Oil and Gas, um, Enbridge, Jive Software, uh, Marathon Oil, Progressly, Upskill Houston, Workday, and uh, Workforce Next, as well as the party we had last night that was great, uh, that was put on by uh, Jennifer, Chris, Jennifer and Chris Homan at their home, and uh, Challenger Gray and Christmas. And I do want to point these, these groups out here. This has been amazing all day long across the world. In uh, Nairobi, Kenya, we had um, a session, like I said, yesterday. Uh, today, we've had sessions in West Virginia. Baton Rouge at LSU at the Center for Energy Studies, um, Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation up in West Virginia hosted, um, and then the University of Colorado Denver, which we have a great relationship with as well, the GEMS program in Denver, Colorado held sessions today. And let me tell you, it was amazing getting the photographs. We have photographs of people standing up during the moment and um, really engaging, a lot of great social media, so I really wanna thank all of the, the groups that supported us at the local sites. And then you'll see at the bottom, there are a number of organizations we work with. We are a very inclusive organization, so we love working with other groups to, sp to spread energy messages and to talk about the energy workforce, since that's something we're passionate about. And then I wanna thank, obviously, ABC and uh, HBJ and Alucast for sending those gorgeous pink manhole covers that, for those of you who weren't in the last session, got a chance to, to check them out. So. Um, I do want to also thank my executive advisory board. Where are my advisory board members? Please stand if you're here still. Awesome. So some of them could not be here, but Kathleen I know is here, Sean Gear, uh, Peggy Montana. Uh, Cindy Patman actually did a speech today in Denver, so that was awesome. She's in the Denver area now. 
Um, uh, Marianne, uh, Clarice, Laura was here, John, a lot of uh, a lot of our members were here, Paula and, and Kimberly. So these guys advise me, you know, it's a private board and I, I listen to them and they beat me up like they ought to as a newly minted CEO. So I appreciate all they bring to me and help uh, driving and shaping the company as we move forward. So um, what's next? You know, next steps, sharing is caring. Next week I'm flying to the Netherlands. Um, I will be speaking at the IADC SPE uh, conference. There will be a, a diversity session specifically focused on the call to action with the World uh, Economic Forum. There will be a number of companies in attendance, and we'll be doing um, something a little more focused on the seven areas uh, within the call to action as we try to socialize this uh, piece of work across the world. And then in a couple of weeks after that, I'll be in Gas at Gas Tech. So we'll have a presence at Gas Tech in uh, Tokyo and really hope to kind of start spreading the messages around women and energy uh, worldwide. So I'm really, really excited about that. But I would be remiss if I do not mention this. This is an awesome event. So if you're here in Houston or if you're outside of Houston and you're able to, to attend, um, the Global Energy Conference that KPMG puts on is wonderful. There's also a, a great event um, in the morning uh, that starts that, the Women in Energy Breakfast. So I hope you'll uh, take the opportunity to, uh, to check that out and, and um, make sure that you uh, sign up to come. It's here in, in Houston. And then can I get um, my committee folks to come up? Where are you guys? Are you still alive? I'm looking around, you guys. Yeah, it's Heather. Jen Hellman, Terry, Karina, Karina, come on up, yeah, come on up, Karina. So I, I, I can't do, I'm a startup, I can't do everything by myself. I mean, I know I like to, everybody thinks that I work, work 40, 24 hours out of the 24 hours, but these are some amazing women that have stepped forward. They sat on our advisory committee. They helped plan um, and make sure that things, got, you know, went off uh, like a hitch. So if we could get a round of applause for all of them, that would be awesome. <laughs> Guys are great. So thank you so much. And then let's see. I'm supposed to say that we are having. Oh yeah, we're having a reception. So we're having this fantastic reception. And here's the cool thing about the reception. So while there are all of you in this room um, that have been mixing and mingling all day long. We actually have new faces down the hall. So what we did was we partnered with Namba Houston, and Namba is the National Association of Women MBAs, and they blanketed Houston to uh, send out an invitation to the um, International Women's Day reception. So we have not just energy folks in the room, but we have people from technology, from finance, from medicine, from all over the city, and we're partying down the hall in the commons. So I hope you guys will all join us as we close this amazing event. Thank you so much. I'm sure I have forgotten someone. So if I have forgotten anyone, um, send me that email and, and, and I'll uh, take care of you. And uh, we'll see you next year. We'll be doing this again and we'll see you on Pink Petro TV. Y'all have a great night. What? Thanks a lot. Go check out, seriously, go to the reception. The speakers will be there. We've got books. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. We need some more of that music. Oh, and Sammy is singing with her friends. Got to come. <laughs>